Today, we'll be reviewing a short animation named Alma, written and directed by Rogical Blast, a Pixar animator known for movies such as War E and The Incredibles. This animated fable centers around the protagonist, a girl named Alma. In the establishing scene, a crane shot captures her cheerfully wandering down a deserted alley on a snowy winter's day. Accompanied by light and airy music, it reveals her young age and her simple nature. Soon after, her attention becomes instantly fixated on a doll replica of her that miraculously appears. Here, the gloomy, high-pitched instrumental contrasts the joyful music and foreshadows the dangers that are yet to come. In addition, close-ups of Alma's facial expressions and body language reveals her deeply triggered curiosity and her strong desires to approach it. As Alma enters the door, tension and suspense begins to build up as a result of the creaking door and dull tone due to poor lighting. This repeating luminous music not only effectively delivers its dark mood, but also provokes the audience's curiosity to the rest of the plot. In this scene, the handheld camera movement expresses instability and also communicates Alma's extreme eagerness to find the doll. The story climaxes when the bicycle boy crashes against the door and Alma reaches the doll. A low angle shot is used to display the doll's dominance over Alma compared to a high angle shot portraying her vulnerability with close up shots of her determined facial expressions. Yet again, the spot on mystical music conveys a sense of insecurity. After Alma's soul becomes trapped within the doll, we're presented with a point of view shot through the doll's eyes. Her heavy diegetic panting engages the audience by provoking a sense of sympathy. As the camera zooms out from the extreme close-up, we come to a shocking realisation that the whole store is filled with trapped children and another doll awaits for the next victim. Overall, this film relies heavily on visuals, music and sound effects to express its central theme as there is not a single line of narration. Director Rogical Blast's intention in this film is to reveal the dangers associated with curiosity, where the protagonist Alma is portrayed as a perfect symbolic representation of curiosity, naivety and innocence. This animation is so powerful in delivering the message of curiosity kills the cat because of Rogical's manipulation was the audience's mind. As the story progresses, we find ourselves fully hooked and engaged in the scenes, but we can't help but to put ourselves into Alma's position. Therefore, he successfully met the contemporary audience's expectations to be either stimulated or entertained when engaging in artworks which in this case was by provoking audience reactions such as fear and curiosity. Since the target audiences are older teens and adults due to its horror component, audiences will be mature enough to relate to past representations or personal experiences regarding to the theme curiosity. By its detailed animation and shocking twists, blasts into audience from the very start to end reinforcing our known perceptions of the dangers of curiosity and ultimately leaving us dangling in disturbance. To sum up, the world is a source of inspiration to the film as it highlights the stigma of human emotions, or more specifically, desire and temptations, revealing the consequences of one's excess curiosity as deadly and destructive. Not only that, but Rogical also comments on how Ephesus it is for people to play upon others' thoughts and actions by simply triggering their curiosity. In this piece of work, I believe it is using art as a representation of the world. As mentioned before, the misfortunes of Alma can be seen as a symbolic representation of human flaws, where people in the society, no matter what age or background, tend to encounter tragic consequences when they lose control of their emotions. Some of these include anger, ambition, temptation, and of course, curiosity. In this case, if Alma could spare a little of her curiosity on the warning signs such as the eerie atmosphere and the paranormal actions of the bicycle boy, the story might have ended differently. Even though it does not capture physical aspects of the world like photographs do, but in my opinion, 
I would say the film Alma represents the world by representing the pre-existing moral, curiosity kills a cat. Altogether, this utterly mesmerising film explores deep themes and reflects upon the stigmas of human nature.